Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to create a speedometer chart in Excel. In this part of the video I will show you how to create a GOT chart or some people also call this speedometer chart and the intent is that I have uh, this cell here and this is the value and when I change this value then the speedometer chart should change this needle should move towards that value so for example if I if I make this 70 then the needle moves to 70 and if I make this say 50 then the needle moves to 50 now this you might have seen this chart as a part of a lot of dashboards or in a lot of reports it is not a very easy chart to make and it takes a lot of effort I do not know if that effort is worth this because there are many other alternatives but it has a lot of technique that you can learn while creating it so I'll show you step by step how to make this chart here I have the values which means that I want uh, the 20% part of my chart to be low then uh, 20 to 50 percent should be medium and then 50 to 100 percent should be high which is indicative here in this chart first 20 percent is low then this is medium and then this is high so to do this I would have to use these two data ranges I would use a donut chart and I would use a pie chart first let's see how I would use a donut chart to create this so I would select this data and this data has nothing but the same type calculation this is this cell uh, then it is next 30 since here it says 50 I would have to take this range the first 20 uh, points or the first 20 percent would be low then the next 30 percent would be medium then the next 30 percent next 50 percent would be high and these three combined to make 100 percent and then this is 100 percent because I would be creating a donut chart so this is just 50 percent of what the donut chart is and the next 30 percent would be the balance that I have to maintain so let me show you how to do this I would select this data I would go to insert and I would create a donut chart now the problem here is that uh, this is not how this chart looks it is a bit uh, tilted you may you may say so I would right click on the chart and say format chart area and here if I choose the chart I would use format data series and here I would go to this angle angle of first slice and I would make it to 70 degree and as soon as I do this you can see that now I have these three categories at the top and this entire thing at the bottom let me delete everything else I would delete the legend and the title because I do not need them and I would have to make these changes I would have to make them transparent so to do that I would make this as no fill uh, no border similarly I would go to this part I would make I would change the fill to green and I would make the border as no border and in this case I would re keep this as it is and this maybe I can change this to uh, a dark red color something like this and again no border so the first part of the chart is ready this is the donor chart which has uh, the first 20 percent as low the next 30 percent as medium and the re remaining as uh, high now I have to create this needle let me put this chart on the side for now and I would create this needle using the data for this pie chart and the idea is that when I change the actual value the needle should move so my actual value is here and I have done a small trick here I have subtracted 2 from this value so that the remaining part of the needle which is to the left of it is this much and then the needle should have the width of 2 points I'm doing this because I tried this with the 1 and the needle was not visible and I tried it with 3 and it was too wide so 2 seems uh, appropriate and then the remaining here I am using a formula d6 into 2 which is this value into 2 minus b9 minus a9 which means that my entire pie chart would have the total value of 200 of that 200 I am subtracting these values so that my chart can align easily with the donor chart and you'll see how this makes sense let me select this and go to insert and I would insert a pie chart now here you can see again uh, there is a rotation problem so I would delete all these things and I would right click and go to format data series and here I would change this angle to to 70 degree and now my chart lines well I would have to individually select these components and go and change the fill to no fill and no border similarly I have to do it for this part as well no fill and no border and I would select this line small line and I would make it no border because there was a white border around it which was uh, making it look very small 
now all I have to do is I have to align these two charts so I would select both these charts go to format in align I would say align top first then align left which is here and I would have to make this plot area transparent so I would say no fill again in the case of the chart which is below this for here as well I would say no fill and I would also have to change the border so that there is no border around this chart similarly for this I would say no border now I can again arrange these two let me close this I would say format align top align left and you can see that these have aligned perfectly now and if I change this value and if I want to I can also change the color of this marker because this is orange which is overlapping with this but this is a minor thing I'm sure you can do this if I change this value to say 15 then you can see that the marker has moved and it comes here to the low segment similarly if I change this to 60 then it moves to the high segment so this is how you can create a gauge chart or a thumb or a speedometer chart as we say and you may use it in reports as you saw this is a bit complicated it's not very easy to make because you have to create two charts and then you have to combine them but if you have made one this these charts look really good in dashboards that's it in this video I hope you found this useful if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comments section thank you and have a nice day